So welcome uh, to the Lean Quiz. Uh, we're here in the Netherlands. Uh, it's getting dark here, so uh, happy to see you all. Uh, we're going to run a, uh, a Lean game show. And the game show is, uh, is uh, just a half an hour. So we normally can play this uh, for a full day. And feel free to use some of this uh, in your own trainings. Um, so before we uh, hit it off, uh, my name is Rene. Uh, this is Antoine. Hello. And uh, Antoine is going to help me uh, out with the technical uh, stuff. Uh, while we ask questions, we're going to take some seconds uh, for you all to answer. Uh, and because of the uh, uh, interfacing and all the technology, it might be uh, that we take uh, more seconds than uh, we uh, aim for. Okay, first, uh, we're going to tell you how we're going to play. Um, if you look on your right hand side, uh, you will uh, see that we have uh, a Mentimeter. So if you go to stage uh, on your right hand side, you see Mentimeter and that's where we're going to uh, be playing. Um, so uh, that is uh, directly into uh, the hop in. Uh, uh, and if you are asked for a code, please type in this code. It's on the screen, A339049. So that is option one, if you're going to play on directly on the hop-in. The alternative is that you go and play on your mobile phone. So you can also play on your mobile phone. You go to menti.com. You enter the same code, A339049, or you uh, simply click on the QR code. You can go with your phone to the QR code and uh, it directly links you to there. So please take a second and uh, make sure you are entering your details or you get ready to play. And no stress, we're gonna first play some uh, simple uh, questions so you can uh, or get used to playing this. So either go to the Mentimeter on stage or directly to menti.com. And we also have some great prices uh, for you guys. Uh, first of all, a three night stay at Hotel Grand Tegande, a five star spa wellness and relax on Tenerife. That is where my friend Oriol is now. Um, so you do have to pay for your flight, but everything else is available, made available by our gold sponsor, Dream Place Hotels. Big thank you to uh, the people from uh, Dream Place. The runner up prize will be a uh, online A3 workshop, uh, a training, um, and that is for the number two. And for the runners up three, four, five, and six, we have a full set of books published by the Lean Global Network. So some great prizes. What we're gonna do is today we run a quiz and tomorrow will be uh, the second quiz. And we'll look at the winners of both quizzes. And um, at the end of the session, if you are uh, in the one top two, top three, then uh, we'll ask you to send your email address to us. Okay, let's get going. Let's get started. Um, first, we have some warm-up questions. First question, you can, uh, where are you joining from in the, um, in the world? I see a lot of people from Europe coming up. I came from Europe. Yeah. 20, but it's quite diverse. Americas, Asia, a lot of people still awake. That's nice. Singapore, Japan. And Charles, I saw you writing in the chat, what's the code? The code is on the top hand of the screen. So 83390049. So just go to menti.com with your mobile phone or use it next to the stage and then click on Mentimeter. Right. 
tools. So still a lot of people uh, clicking, voting. Okay, next question. In what sector are you working? A lot of, uh, lot of manufacturing. Manufacturing, 44, 42, 44. Digital finance, government, only a small percentage. Still some work to do. Construction, services. Cool. So next question, how many years of experience do you have with Lean? Is it relatively small, only zero to three years, three to five years, five to 10 years, 10 to 15, or even longer than 15? You see already some answers coming in. It's quite even distribution thus far, so will be interesting in the quiz to see uh, that's why. Also in the chat, go in the guidance as 20 years. 20 years. 15. 10 to 15. 10 to 15. Years. 25. John Adler, 23 years. All right. Okay, great. So first question, did you read the book Lean Thinking? Some people are here for the price. I can imagine that. We saw a real in the uh, in sun. So, so yeah. good. it's absolutely a great, great hotel. It's one of the best hotels I've been to. Yeah. Amazing story. So make sure when you can uh, visit uh, one of the, the sessions that is about, uh, about uh, the Dream Place Hotel, uh, the Mojito Workshops. It's really amazing. So a lot of people read it, but it's been a while back. Um, yeah, but I think it's still a really interesting book to read. Lots of good stuff in it. So um, and some people actually went for the audiobook instead of reading. Yeah, yeah that's good to see. That's it. also a good possibility. Okay, yo. let's start with the real quiz. The real questions where you can score points and there's two really important things one is answer correctly so please provide us with the correct answer but the second is also really important and that is do it as quick as you can so the quicker you uh, answer the more points you gain so make sure uh, you get started get ready because we need quick answers and you you have until um, well between 15 and 25 seconds to answer the question depending on the difficulty of the question so if you answer too late um, well your vote won't be counted so are we ready yes you see ryan fun is already ready it's great all right so don't forget Fill in your name if you want to be able to win a prize. And if you don't mind, then you can still play anonymous. That's also okay. There's already a lot of people in the session. Some more people coming in. Just give you a bit of time to join up so you can win one of the prizes. I still see some people coming in. Well, some great avatars. Yeah. Okay. All right. We are ready. Lean is based on five core principles. Is this yes, that's right? No, there are more. No, there are less. Please give us your answer.
Well, 159 people say yes, that's right. Well done. Well done. Second question. How many countries are represented in this Lean Global Connection event? Is it close to 93, 54, 115, or 195? And most people answer correctly as well. It's 115. Um, that's quite a lot. And some people are actually saying it's uh, increasing. And actually, we see more people signing up. So that's, uh, that's great to see. Next question. Lean is centered on. Making clear what adds value by reducing everything else, remove work and lean back or increasing the value for the customer by adding extra features. And here 157 people answered correctly, making clear by what adds value by reducing everything else. Remove work and lean back, it would be nice. Uh, two people voted for that, you can imagine as well. Next question. Reducing lead time is always good for the customer, helps in finding quality problems quicker or reduces your necessary inventory. Ah, Whoa. this is an interesting one, uh, Renee. Yeah, the... reducing lead time is not always good for the customer. So uh, there are several cases where customers do, do not expect you to be that quick in uh, producing something. So it's not always uh, the case. It also is not uh, per se reducing your necessary inventory. Um, uh, it could be, but the, the, right, the right answer is it helps in finding quality problems quicker. So that is kind of a trick question. Okay, we're heading on. And we see it in the answers as well. It's quite an yeah, even distribution. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Next question. In the lead strategy, four key obstacles are mentioned. Which one is not a key obstacle? So we have five. Ones and one is not correct. Five obstacles. There's actually four that we are looking for. Yeah, and listening to colleagues is not a key obstacle. So this is a hard one, but uh, taking responsibility uh, being willing to explore uncertain possibilities, overcoming setbacks, and anticipating the next step. Those are uh, the obstacles mentioned. And so, also here we see quite an even distribution. So that's, yeah. Um, yeah. It's a tough question. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Who's leading? It's quite close, actually. We see that David is leading the board with uh, 4,138 points. And we see that Chiara Federici is actually well, a good runner-up with uh, a few points lagging behind. Um, but there's still a lot of questions popping up. So. Um, we still see that Aaron or Aaron or Andy's, um, they still all have a choice. So if you see your name on the board, um, answer correctly and answer fast, and you might pop up and um, take over the leader position. Okay, let's move to the next question. 
Question six out of 10. Genrio management is a framework to make profit during periods of both growth and decline in sales. Which one is not part of Genrio management? Is it labor linearity, capital linearity, method linearity, or material linearity? Which out of these three, which out, out of these four is not part of Genrio management? It's method linearity. So the idea is that it is always you need to always be able to make a profit. So uh, traditional management uh, people think, okay, there's a unique best point where you can uh, make money the best, but uh, uh, no, you need to be able to uh, deal with more or less people. Uh, and the same goes with machines. So instead of buying one big machine, you better buy 10 smaller ones so you can uh, uh, turn them on or off depending on the demand. So method linearity is not existing. So unfortunately, only 51 scored correctly. Next question. These elements had an impact in the way we organize work. Which came first in history? Was it Highland Park plant? Was it training with an industry or Jidoka? And the first that I was already in 1896 was the principle of Jidoka or building quality, automation. So that came before Highland Park plant was around 1910, uh, where Ford, that was Ford's first plant. And trading within industry was the method that uh, was developed during the Second World War, 1940s, uh, in the factories in the US. Uh, the Ministry of Defense uh, built on this to train people quickly. So Jidoka was the right answer. Let's move to the next question. There are six generic routines to allocate work elements in a U-shaped cell. Which one is not correct? A bit more time. It's a difficult question. It's a difficult question. So we give you a bit more seconds. It was the fifth one. The sprint station is not existing. So the others are different ways to uh, split the work over in U shaped cells. So Splitting the work, circuit, reverse flow, the ratchet, and combinations of splitting the work and the circuits are uh, correct. Uh, here we see also quite an even distribution again. Yeah. So could be that the questions become more difficult as we go. But... By the way, you can find out more about these generic routines in the book, Creating Continuous Flow, published by LEI. Next question. Already question nine out of 10. Second to last. So be ready, keep your phone at hand or click really fast in Mentimeter. Um, if you think you're scoring a bit behind, it may be a bit better to guess and to take points on answering fast. Um, but yeah, it doesn't work if you answer incorrectly, of course. Here we go. Five people are working on a shift of eight hours. Customer demand is 40. What is the actual tech time? Actual tech time. So you can calculate, make your calculations. Five people are working on a shift of eight hours and customer demand is 40. What is the actual tech time? Asma in the chat says, none of my answers were correct. Well, we have a quiz tomorrow as well. So <laughs> feel free to join. <laughs> Uh, we have to say it's not the same questions. So it's not the same quiz, not the same question. But ask me, you can come back tomorrow.
Right, so answers are coming in. Yep. Correct answer is 10.8 minutes. Typically, people would say 12 minutes, but that is the tech time. The actual tech time is 90% uh, of the tech time. So you always want to be a bit below tech time so you can uh, deal with uh, the variation that pops up. So 12 minutes, unfortunately, is the tech time. It's not the actual tech time. There's also always 90% of the tech time. A bit of a trick question. We see some people in the chat writing 12, so... Yeah, that's uh, what most people guessed or calculated, I have to say. But it's a bit uh, bit below that. And already the final, final question. question. I'm curious if the leaderboard will uh, have shifted a lot, but we will see it after that's this last and, last final. and final question for today. We know three types of pool systems. What is the downside of a sequential pool system? Does it require high process stability and short lead time to produce less inventory and associated waste, or does it require mixed production control? Which is the correct answer? Yes, and most people scored that correctly. It requires high process stability and short lead time to produce. Well done, guys. Yeah, so 80 people answers correctly. And I'm actually quite curious. Let's uh, pull up the leaderboard and see if we have a lot of change. Yeah, we still see Ciara, Ciara on the top, but lagging behind a bit. We see yeah. Alice Lee. Whoa, there is quite some shuffling around. So Ciara is really fast in the beginning. And we see now Alice Lee has won the first, the first rounds. Colin Newton and Casey Elfman. Exactly. So it's quite a lot of shuffling going around. In the last five questions, we see totally different leaderboards popping up. Wow. Well, congratulations. These three, please send us an email at info.leaninstitute.nl. So if you like to get your prizes, please send us an email, info at leaninstitute.nl. Mind you, institute is uh, written in a Dutch way with UUT at the end. Yeah. So really cool that you wanted to play. If you want to have a second chance, you can come back tomorrow. We will be playing uh, um, around 12.30 uh, um, GMT, yeah, I think. Yeah, so twelve thirty um, p.m. GMT. Um, of course, if you want to learn more about uh, playing games, we have about twelve of these modules. It's always cool to plug in into your own training. Um, and uh, ah, I see that Asma, she had one answer correct. Well done, Asma. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and John. You don't have to cry, man. You finished it. Top 100. Top 100. So oh, that's that, that, really good. It's a good start. So be be sure to join in uh, tomorrow. Be ready, set, have a, have a good uh, good dinner beforehand and make sure you're all uh, fit and ready, ready to go.